Hello guys, it's your boy RFL here, and today we're going to be doing um, a Hero Spotlight, two more actually. Um, I just got a notice from developers, um, they see my channel not too long ago, and they were just like, okay. Um, they were telling me that, um, oops, you weren't supposed to hear that, but if you hear that, uh, I just dropped something on just my mic. Um, if you hear that as well, that's from my other phone. Um, that I used to be using, but now I got this new mic shit, so yeah. But anyways, guys, we're going to be doing a Hero Spotlight on Sand, the Monk of the West. So, Sand is pretty cool. He's a he's a little um, he's a little tank, and he's pretty brutal for a tank, I must say. Um, let's definitely check him out in his status as a rank. Um, for a tank, or actually, I think he's a melee mage, but no, he's a tank. You would think he was. Actually, I think he is. He might be. He might be like the the, um, the combination of a melee tank and uh, like a melee. I don't know. I don't know about Sand. Look at this big ass guy. He's Sand the Journey, uh, the Monk of the West. He's um. He's very special. What you really want to build with him is attack damage and magic. Those are your key elements in order to build this guy up pretty good. Uh, attack damage and magic, that's all you really need. Um, so let's go with this first ability. This first ability is called Tidal Wave Pull. Well, Tidal Wave Pull basically does it attacks and AoE effect um, damage in a conical, conical like shape. Um, it does 176 on initial damage and 41 damage afterwards. Um, and it's a pretty abusive attack, considering that um, it also slows anybody who walks over his tidal wave pull. Kind of just pulls him back, I guess. Um, but let's go to second ability. So second ability is called Steel Mallets. This one does 170 true damage, true base damage. And um, it's a brutal ability for just stunning enemies. Um, say when you're in a crisis, you're being chased, and just you just turn around, boom, and then just look at that. That's more than enough time to get away. Um, that's a pretty long stun, so... Yeah, in compilation with the two, it's obviously tidal wave pull on initial damage. You stomp the enemy and you keep going. Um, make sure to stay in front of the enemy as well because you want to get as maximum amount of damage as you can. So it's just tidal wave pull, boom, and just keep going. You can attack him a few times or if you're low health, you just play it safe, back up. Um, yeah, so let's look at his ultimate. His ultimate is called Sand Bullets. And basically, Sand shoots out these bullet, they like these bullet beads around his neck. Um, he shoots it out nine times in nine different waves, and uh, um, they recharge every second, but since I'm in like uh, this demo oh, yeah. mode, the cooldown is reduced, so it's charging up really fast, but it won't charge as fast in the game. Um, but um, So nine is the maximum limit, and you can basically shoot these beads out into a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of um, heroes and monsters, a whole bunch of everything, and uh, air, air by the game, hide your kids, hide your ass. Um, it's a pretty brutal and abusive ability. That's why I'm thinking he's a mage, um, but he's a tank at the same time. But um, I don't know. That ultimate is quite quite skilled for a tank, I, I must say. Um, I don't know the compilation of that, but I can put a compilation together. It goes from the ultimate. Watch, I'll show you. Um, build attack damage and, and magical. I'm going to show you right now. Build attack damage and magical with this guy because that's his higher priorities. Um, he's better on taking out fighters because he can slow them, stun them, and then shoot them with a whole bunch of sand bullets, and it's just, that person is not going to be lucky. Since fighters don't can't take a lot of damage, that will easily kill them. Um, so, yeah, let's go with Tidal Pull Wave, stun them, throw an auto attack, another auto attack, they try to run, boom, 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 boom. Then you can let them run. That does a bunch of various damage on base damage and um, of true damage, um, a combination of both. So, yeah, guys, that is Sand. And uh, I hope you guys are um, happy about the two new heroes that are coming out. Um, one hero already came out from an event um, that's going on right now. It's been going on since the beginning, since the first episode of this game uh, that I made out. And uh, yeah, there's a new hero, but I'm not bothered in that guy because he costs a lot of soul stones. So I'm just like, yeah, fuck him. But we'll spotlight him. By the time we spotlight him, though, a new hero would have already came out because that's what they're saying, that the new hero is going to come out by that time. But um, yeah, guys. Um... This is your boy RFO here with the Hero Spotlight on Sand, the, the Monk of the West, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we come back with more Hero Spotlights. We'll be going on to Barracuda. Bye bye, fans.